technique and artistry, depending on what stage you are in your life right now, they're both very important. But if your focus right now is you're on the way being a dancer, learning to be a dancer, technique is basic. Get your basic knowledge, i.e. technique down. And then art, artistry can also be developed in your life, I think. Um, the technique that I'm teaching is energetic release is what I call my class. So we're focusing on getting comfortable being in and out of the floor, letting, letting your, your body, your torso, your head be really free. I think a lot of people are really good at technique and it's really nice to like um, try and get dancers to free up. We've approached movement in a lot of different ways from a lot of different teachers and that's really been a challenge to be able to get your brain to switch around really rapidly. Technique is something that is absolutely essential, but I think to be successful as a dancer and move into a professional capacity, technique on its own is meaningless because art is creative expression. Cyrus taught a class focused on deep listening, improvisational exercises. I felt like that class really opened up my eyes again to sort of a personal artistic license and autonomy in the world of dance. So something that I've really liked is how we've taken the time to really analyze movement and how people move very differently. So to help dancers find their own unique self, I try to get them to focus on their background, uh, their experiences. So each of us have approached movement uh, from a multitude of perspectives, um, from the way you move from your car into your house, from the car parking lot into the studio, the type of shoes you wear, uh, the cultural background that you came from. Each of us has sort of a movement, a movement story. I think first of all, developing confidence in a dance student or a young dancer is absolutely essential. It's so important to have freedom and have release and have wildness in your movement. And I think um, that's what I'm trying to get dancers to understand. I'm trying to get them to use their eyes. I'm trying to get them to release their head. I've had a couple light bulb moments. Being more open with yourself and others, you learn a lot that way. Everything that I've absorbed the last two weeks is very valuable information and I'm just gonna try to soak it all in. Giving people the freedom, uh, actually the freedom to explore that and to explore what, uh, what makes them a unique moving being, I think is really key as a teacher.